Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today we're having an unboxing and uh, perhaps we'll see a new watch today. Anyway, without further ado, let's get going. Well, here we go uh, with an unboxing. Um, this is what I received in the box. It's not too big, but it's big enough. One of the things that I wanted to suggest to everyone is when you get a watch in a box, take the, uh, the shipping bill out in case there's anything wrong with it. Uh, this will st your, your shipping information will still be in one piece. Okay. Um, so let's get started on this thing. Uh, the first thing I want to do, I'm going to tear this off so that I can get the, uh, get to everything. And then here, we'll just, my tactical knife, it looks for bears and so forth. Now, one thing you got to be careful of is you get a shower of popcorn, packing popcorn. Up. Ah, there's no packing popcorn, there's paper instead. Now, this was shipped uh, by an AD. I don't buy a lot of watches uh, from ADs, not because I have anything against ADs, but usually I get a better deal elsewhere. Uh, but this particular AD, it must have been geez, six, seven, eight years ago, I bought another watch from him, and, you know, it's been great. It's a Harry Winston um, premiered by retrograde. So anyway, uh, I had a good experience during that. The guy was straight shooter with me and worked out well. Now this has been packed with a lot of packing paper. It's sort of uh, something that is Sort of an old tiny thing. Oh, boy, here's the watch. Oops. Put it aside here. And take all this other stuff out. Ah, the popcorn's in the bottom, uh, which means that it's not going to be all over my room. Oh, kiddo. So I got it out of here. Now, here's the box. Let's see what's in it. Don't want to give it away too quickly. Hang on a second. Ah. This looks like a nice one. Oh boy, is it ever. Ah. Okie doke. This is, looks like a leather case uh, with sort of a, like a silk stocking around it. Let's see what's in here. By the way, too, uh, this I guess you could call See, this watch originally was introduced in uh, 2017, and this is brand new. It hasn't been worn, and it has all of its documentation with it. Uh, here's the card that comes with it. And uh, everything that I need to know. This is great. So I've got my, this is really about all the paperwork you get these days. Here's a polishing cloth. And here's some, looks like, you know what this is? This is a, um, a passport case. This is for travel. How oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. All right. Now, this is a little something. It looks like a, you know, I don't, 
think that in my case, it's probably not a bad idea to put an extra stem in, uh, but this is not a stem. It looks like some kind of, of uh, poker, which would indicate there's sort of a micro uh, pusher, or a mini pusher, one of those little things on the side. I like those. Okay, so I've got this, and I'm going to put everything back for the kid oak. And let's see what's in here. Oh, this is a travel roll. Okay. And a couple things. And let's take a look at the watch. comes with a deployant band to it <laughs> probably have uh, and here's my new watch it's a let me see it's a Parmigiani uh, could you don't tell me it's set to the correct time no it's not uh, it's a Parmigiani uh, 1950 loom it's hard to see. Let me see. Let me try on this light and see if you can see the, the color better. It's a nice blue to it and a dark blue. It's beautiful. Um, you can see how that see how that goes. It looks almost like a tuxedo uh, dial to it. Um, and it's got a really interesting uh, moon phase up at the top. I'll take some pictures and I'll be talking about it in a, in a bit. But uh, and it's got a sort of this really rich blue gator band as well to it. And I'll tell you a story about this in a bit. Okay, now that we've had the unboxing, I put on the, uh, the watch. And as you can see, and I'll see a little more here, uh, the color on it is, is really amazing. Right here, it looks like it has, you know, almost a black uh, dial, but uh, we'll see in a second that the number of shades of blue, many shades of blue. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> the Parmigiani uh, Tonda 1950 Lou. Now, the Tonda 1950 was this incredibly popular uh, Parmigiani. Uh, people like that a lot. And so I thought, well, uh, let's try it with, and we'll put a moon phase on it. And instead of just any moon phase, they put a moon phase on so you could see the southern and northern hemisphere. So that I thought was a great idea. Um, self winding the uh, automatic uh, 3 hertz, 21,600. Semi oscillations per hour, 48 hour uh, reserve on it, and it's got hours, minutes, small seconds, moon f and a moon phase indicator and a date. Uh, the case is 39.1 millimeters, uh, stainless steel. The water resistance is 3 atm. That's about 30 meters, 30 yards down. <laughs> I don't want to go that far under with this watch. It's got a sapphire uh, crystal in the front and the back. And down there in the lower uh, right-hand corner is a little picture of the um, movement from the dial side. Usually you see it from the back side. We'll take a look at that in a bit. Now, the uh, uh, here's another. You can see how different the color is just by moving this a little, the, the color changes on it. And um, the strap with it is, on this particular one, it's a blue one. They have a black dial one with a black uh, gator strap. Uh, but you can see a little better than how blue it is. Now, one of the interesting things about the, uh, about the band, <clears throat> or actually about the uh, deployant, is that there's this little bitty... Uh, part to it that is right here okay yeah right there and what that part does is that if your if your wrist 
is that if it's just a little too big uh, or a little too snug, you can adjust it to sort of what we'll call a, a half hole. <laughs> So if, if you're the, where the pin comes in is just makes it a little tight, you can just pull it out just a little there. Uh, there's some ways you can you sort of clamp it and then you pull it out. Really amazing uh, little thing to add to it. Now, uh, here's the side views from the top and the bottom. Now, the Loon um, 1950 is relatively speaking thin. Uh, you can see the lugs, those are the big horn lugs, and you can see how thin it is. It doesn't look as thin in those pictures, but you can see it there. It's a pretty thin one. And the thing about the horn lugs is that they wrap around your wrist incredibly comfortable, even though the name horn lugs sounds like uh, <laughs> something dangerous. Now, this is the pin pusher that comes with it. And um, the, or I guess that would be the pin, and the little hole in the top, right back here it is, or the bottom, I guess, right on the opposite end of the uh, crown, is a little pen pusher. But it, the, 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 the watch comes with a little thing to push it with. I usually push it with the pointy end of my um, spring bar tool. <laughs> so this is great. Uh, it came in a little plastic sack and, and I, uh, I keep it and, Keep it in keep it in a place I don't want to lose it. it looks like the easiest thing in the world to lose and uh, I'm especially with small watch relatively small watch parts uh, here's a here's another view of the pin pusher uh, next to the next to the watch and you can there's another uh, image of the watch just the, change the light on this thing just a little and it goes from black or almost black to blue from navy blue to a lighter blue really an unusual watch now here's a close-up of the um dual uh, moon phase system uh this is pretty much what it looks like when you have a new moon now the thing i didn't know is that your new moon is the same for the southern hemisphere as it is for the northern hemisphere come looks a little different from that angle but it, that i didn't know and then it goes to 29 and a half, which is a lunar cycle. Um, it just, I mean, I'm not much into moon faces. It's like watching the grass grow. But with this one, I, I don't know, I find it, I found it really fascinating. Of course, with a new moon, uh, July 5th, which is today, uh, it's, <laughs> you're not going to see anything, uh, at least anything of the moon. Okay, now the, uh, this is one of the, I guess you'd call it, older ways of showing the date um, that is uniquely, or mostly uniquely, Parmigiani. They show three dates, and the even numbers are, are, are a dot. And the reason they're a dot is that so they can fit everything in. If you had a three and a four and five in the uh, date disc could probably look a little crowded and so they is that why they do do it this way it looks better and you can <laughs> you can see the day before and the day after um i don't know why that helps me <laughs> i don't know if it does everybody else and yeah, what was it yesterday <laughs> okay uh now finally uh this is from the back and i put this on top of the uh uh, I guess the cleaning cloth and the polishing cloth that comes with it, and they have it a, a, an embedded uh, embossed PF or Parmigiani Fourier. Just this big old thing. It's, it's, it's sort of a gray looking on there. Um, there you can see the rotor. It's a platinum uh, micro rotor, and it has a grained orange motif, which is a barley corn motif, which is, I think, uh, this same motif is on my big rotor, I have a 22 karat gold rotor on my uh, Kalpa, which is an older one when gold was more affordable. Uh, wasn't that old, it was from early 2000s somewhere. And, uh, but this one, you can see the, see the, see the movement. It, it's sort of interesting, uh, the great big plates on it, uh, sort of cover up most of it, <laughs> to tell you the truth. 
but they are spread a little so you can see some of the wheel train and of course you can see the uh on the um the balance cock you can see the balance wheel below it one of the things i've never been crazy about uh micro rotors is that they take up more room uh for the uh, for the balance wheel i like big balance wheels but, you know the same is true with dual barrels and i never seem to whine about that so anyway so this is uh this is the view from from the back of it anyway uh, uh that was that my unboxing naturally i'd love to hear from you by the way too this was a watch which which is a i'm not bragging about it i'm simply saying <laughs> one way to make something more affordable this one was brand new but it had been it's from a discontinued line a lot of the things at Parmigiani are getting discontinued because the new guy is sort of trying to come up with a new look. And uh, this is one of the ones that, what I guess they consider to be the old look. And so you might wanna, if you like this watch, take a look around. There may be some brand new ones available at, at a very, very good price. Um, this is an opportunity to subscribe if you like. And until next time, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Outside, the art and science of watch collection.